In this video, I want to show you everything you need to know about product uh, description SEO and how you can optimize your product pages on your online store to attract more customers, to boost your conversion rate and also yeah, to boost your organic SEO. And this is what I want to, want to teach you in this video. So um, yeah. Well, first of all, let me introduce myself real quick. So my name is Tim. I'm from Germany. I am an agency owner. We are doing SEO for, for clients. We are doing SEO. We are building websites and also, yeah, we are dealing with um, e-commerce and we are optimizing e-commerce websites for our clients. And um, yeah, so I know a little bit about um, e-commerce and conversion rate optimization and yeah, how to build um, an e-commerce store and how to optimize an e-commerce store to get uh, yeah more customers to acquire more customers uh, to through um, the organic way from from Google search for example and yeah this is what I want to show you in this video in this tutorial so I made a complete um, document where I wrote down um, all the steps all the important steps you need to you need to do in order to optimize your store so it doesn't matter if you have a WordPress or WooCommerce store or a Shopify store or um, yeah whatever whatever um, store platform out there so you can optimize every platform uh, if you have an yeah like I said if you have a WooCommerce store or a Shopify store it doesn't matter you can um, do this method on um, every every platform every CMS system so yeah, and then I think let's uh, jump right into this. So like I said, I made a, a nice document here with some cool images and where I wrote down everything, every important steps you have to do so you can um, implement these methods, these steps on your own um, e-commerce store. And um, yeah, I, I try to give you um, the, the, the best advice I can. So I do this for uh, more than than 20 years now and um, yeah I try to give you here in this video in this tutorial my best advice I can so that you can um, implement this on your own platform that you don't have to hire somebody um, of course this takes time and a little bit of effort if you have a completely new store for example then of course yeah it's a little bit more work if you ha already have an, a little bit of optimized store um, optimized pages then yeah of course it's it's easier but I think it's doable for for beginners for intermediates for and for for pros <laughs> as well and yeah then then I think let's get started started so yeah um, the first thing is here why a product page SEO is important so SEO and its role in driving organic traffic SEO is important to attract organic customers you will get warm customers that are likely to buy your products save money on paid ads Google Ads Facebook Ads get more and more organic visitors and buyers if you do a good job in optimizing your complete store and the product category pages and product pages yeah of course this is I think um, the goal the, the main goal that we uh, attract more customers to our store and um, I think SEO is is so important um, that you optimize the whole store not only of course not only the product pages themselves but uh, the whole store the, the, the yeah the home page um, the about us page the product uh, category pages are, are really important and this way we can attract more organic tra more organic traffic so when somebody is searching for for a Mac or something thing like this that you offer in your store and then yeah they will find you in the organic search result and yeah this is a warm client so they have the intention to buy something and if they land on your website yeah then uh, yeah you can you can um, sell them everything <laughs> and of course um, yeah SEO is really important because uh, when you are running right now Google Ads or Facebook Ads or something like this I, I know this can be really expensive but yeah if you have a new store for example then um, yeah you have to you have to run Google ads or Facebook ads to attract uh, customers because the first I think three four months it, it's really hard to um, yeah get the ball rolling um, with the SEO game because Google don't know your doesn't know your store Google don't trust you uh, and Google have, have to test you and then of course if you do a good 
good job in SEO, in um, the whole website SEO, and also in the product page SEO, then yeah, you will start climbing in the ladder and um, Google will test your products and or test your store, test the, test the pages. And yeah, this way you will attract uh, warm, warm customers that are likely to buy your, um, your products. Let me drink my coffee real quick. And the next, uh, the importance of SEO and user experience and conversion rate. With good SEO, you will enhance the user experience and boost your conversion rate. Of course, SEO is not only um, writing writing content, but SEO is also focused on user experience. So um, this means that um, your 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 site looks good your navigation menu is clear the the complete navigation of your site is clear and so on that all the elements are right and that the user can find on your website what they are searching for if they have to search or click a thousand times to 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 uh, find something on your website then yeah, your um, UX is not optimized. And this is really, really important that you have a really good store, that the customer um, trust you, that the customer has a good feeling when they are visiting your store or when they are exploring your store and make sure that, uh, yeah, the user experience, the UX or the UI of your store is really optimized for yeah for friendliness for um, good navigation that all the buttons are clear and uh, the color is is nice and the customer that the customer is um, yeah happy when they are landing on your website they find everything they can trust you because yeah you have a good store design and when you of course, when you have, have only a few pages there and uh, only one product or only one to three products, then um, yeah, the likelihood is there that uh, the potential customer does not trust you because um, yeah, I think everyone, everyone uh, these days can build a store real quick and um, yeah, this is why it is so important that you have a really good design and um, the user experience is really optimized so the user uh, can trust you. This is why um, yeah, why Amazon um, is so good or the big online stores. Everybody knows them, um, uh, everybody trusts them and you don't have these trust factors. And this is why um, we have to have to boost the trust, trust factors with a good, uh, good user experience. I hope you understand what I mean. <laughs> so um, yeah, English is really hard for us German guys uh, or German people. <laughs> so I hope you understand what I what I'm saying here. Uh, so it doesn't matter if you own a Shopify store, like I said, WordPress, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, uh, Shopware, um, and so on. So every uh, of these platform, all these platforms here. Um, are giving you the option to to customize to um, enhance the user experience and um, yeah even even Shopify you can make even Shopify look really good <laughs> or um, uh, yeah a WordPress store or a WooCommerce store you can optimize so that uh, it is really a high conversion and I personally I like WooCommerce the best because yeah you can fully WooCommerce and WordPress are open source um, software CMS system system so you can fully um, integrate or fully access the the code and you can um, do everything there and this is a good thing by the way so yeah then let's move on to the next step the next step is yeah keyword research uh, keyword research is key when you um, building a good product page for example you selling I don't know you selling dog foods um, dog foods for 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 um, little dogs for puppies and then you have to find the right keyword because yeah i think for example dog foods is dog food is so competitive that you have to find your own niche i think it's really hard to compete in yeah dog food with the big brands and with the big shops and this is why you have to do keyword research and find the right keywords and um, yeah, uh, importance of keyword research for product pages, like I said, tools, um, uh, tools for keyword research, free versus paid, paid tools, 
uh, how to choose the right keyword, focus on long tail keywords, relevance and search volume, integrate keywords naturally into product title, description and meta tags. Yeah, let's start with the first. Um, yeah, I think I, I um, talked about the first one. Then let's uh, move on to, to the next um, tools for keyword research. Yeah, there are so many tools out there for keyword research to do your keyword research. Um, for example, yeah, I think you know about, for example, Ahrefs or uh, SEMrush. And these are paid tools, but yeah, these are really good tools. If you want to take it seriously, then I think, yeah, you have to invest a little bit into these keyword research tools because they will help you um, find out what uh, keywords you should use and um, you can play around and uh, yeah, find the right keywords which you can rank for. But there are also a few really good um, free keyword tools. So if you want to see all the free keyword tools, I don't want to sh want to show you everything here about the, the keyword tools because then the video is uh, two hours long. Uh, I want to show you real quick what I think about it. And um, yeah, like I said, uh, pay tools are of course really good, but also there are a few um, really good free keyword tools. Let me show you one of them. So I think you know of Ahrefs. I think this is the leader in um, keyword research tools, but they all they also have a free version. Let me show you real quick. Um, if I go to Google here and I enter free free Ahrefs, uh, here it is free Ahrefs keyword tool. Um, then you see here on top the first um, the first thingy here is the free keyword research tool. So I use um, the paid version of um, Ahref, but also I use the paid version of SEMrush. Yeah, because um, we have an agency and we work with clients and so we have to have these paid, uh, paid tools. But I want to show you the free version. Here you can see this is completely free. And if we search, for example, for, no, for, for doc food, Dog food for let's search for this here you can see for in google bing youtube amazon united states you can choose um other countries if you for example in turkmenistan <laughs> then you go with turkmenistan or tuvalu maybe <laughs> then uh, yeah let's um, press on find keywords and here you can see what uh, you can optimize your content or your product uh, page titles or um, the meta description for. Um, you can see also the search volume, how hard it is and um, so on. So here you can see best dog food for allergies. So this is uh, yeah really hard. So it's pretty hard to rank for this keyword. But if you go for a long tail keyword, um, best dog food for sensitive stomach. So if they have uh, yeah problems with their stomach, then um, yeah, you um, have a winner here. You can see over 1000 um, search volume. If you offer this on your store, for example, then yeah, chances are high that um, people will find your store, will find your product and buy from you. And if I, um, if my dog has a sensitive stomach, um, thank God he has not, but if he has, and I Google for this and yeah, then um, I click on the first um, thing or third search result and then I go to the store and buy this article. So I think this is a really good good tool if you don't uh, want to want to buy the tools here because yeah, I think these are of course these are a little bit expensive. So for example, Ahrefs is uh, uh, 150 I think and um, SEMrush is even more expensive so yeah maybe if you don't want to invest this or want to do only a few keyword uh, researches here per day then um, use the free version. I also put the link I will put the link in the video description so you can play around with this and um, yeah search for your perfect keyword and what you can rank for. Then uh, let's go to the next, um, how to choose the right keyword, um, focus on long tail keywords. Yeah, like I said, if you want to, in our case, um, if we sell dog food on our store, then better is or, or uh, we go with a long tail keyword. So um, yeah, long tail keyword means uh, more words in the keyword, then um, the easier it's get when we only try to rank for dog food, then it's it's really hard because uh, every every 
somebody uh, wants to rank for dog food but if we want to rank for dog food for sensitive stomach if we optimize our store or our product page for this product then chances are really high that we can uh, that we have a winner with this long tail keyword uh, exactly then yeah the relevance is pretty important um, that you make that that your, the that your actual product or the product page is relevant to the search when somebody is searching for the specific dog food type then um, of course the the product page has to be relevant for this search term uh, and also yeah the search volume is really important um, so if you optimize a product or a product page for a specific uh, keyword then make sure that um, the search volume is enough so I think at least it has to be 100 searches per month so otherwise I think it doesn't make sense to put in the energy to optimize a product page to make um, good good images to make videos um, yeah you know what I mean so um, yeah into integrate keyword naturally into the product title descriptions and meta tags so don't um, stuff all the keywords in in um, the description or in the title so this is really unnatural so of course integrate the keywords into the title but make it relevant and make it um, yeah sound good so uh, make it that um, everybody understands what this product is about but that the product has the right keywords in the title and in the meta description and in the text um yeah i don't know if this is a good idea when i show you let me show you here i have a test store and this is a drop shipping store from us this is a test store um this is a product um, 60 um, ml uh, mold removal spray here you can see the product title is relatively good because yeah um, they know exactly what they will get they will get 60 ml uh, milliliter of uh, mold removal spray and also the permalink structure is optimized you can see um, this is the domain name and the product or the category product is a little bit um, off we have to fix this and here is the um, url <clears throat> yeah i think um, this is perfect because so everybody knows what we are talking about on this specific product page and um, yeah the link is optimized then let's go back so this is it for the keyword research i think if you do yeah keyword research before you start i think keyword research is really important and then also integrate all the relevant keywords into uh, your product page and the category description and so on yeah then let's move on to the next topic the next topic is optimizing the product title uh, clear descriptive descriptive and keyword rich product titles for example um, www.yourshop.com products black sports shoes for men so yeah like i showed you before so make sure that your um, uh, that the url of your product is optimized so that when a customer sees this url uh, they know exactly what they are clicking on and also of course all the search engines uh, google bing they are also know what um, you are talking about on this specific page because this is really easy to read everybody knows what you are selling on this page you are selling black sport shoes for men and then uh, tips for writing uh, compelling and seo friendly product titles identify core keywords clearly describe the product engage shoppers highlight benefits enhance readability and so on yeah um exactly uh, yeah like i said before the uh, a compelling and seo friendly product title is yeah really important also for for the the real customer and also for the search engines so make sure that you um, implement the main keyword um, that you um, yeah describe the product that you are selling and um, yeah maybe engage the shopper to click on this product and um, check it out and maybe then buy it so advanced a b test for titles for wordpress woocommerce there are plugins that you can use to automatically 
test product titles for better conversion rate. Yeah, um, I know um, um, from experience that WordPress and WooCommerce offer these A-B tests. So for example, we have um, this, this uh, product here, we want to sell the black sport shoes, and then you can, then there's a, pl a pl uh, plugin, you can, um, automatically change these for example we we change uh, we put black on on black here uh, on on the end for example or play around with this so um, there is uh, yeah there is a plugin that tests this on different customers um, so and then after a few few um, days then we can see which product title is working best for us, which uh, product title has the most conversion rate and so on and so on. Hope you know what I mean. Here's um, also a description before the optimization when we want to sell a camera, a new camera. Yeah, this is a little bit um, off because camera, what, what type of camera are we selling? And um, yeah, the best here you can see um, what so what's a good compelling title and good informative title what the search engines can read what your customers will see and i think yeah this is much better so that you have all the details this is uh, from amazon so and i think amazon is uh, the king in <laughs> creating really good uh, product titles and yeah i um, stole this from amazon so instead of new camera writing only new camera then give the real details so when a customer visits Visit your online store or when a customer sees this description in the search engines when I when they searching for a, a Canon EOS and they see this then chances are higher that they will click on this specific page because they know exactly what they are seeing on the page what you are talking about on the page and also yeah the same goes here Apple MacBook um, laptop and M1 chip, then everybody knows what you are selling on this page, what you are talking about on this page and so on and so on. So yeah, make sure that you optimize the titles and um, don't be that guy. So be that guy to boost your conversion rate. And even, yeah, like I said, um, the real customer likes it when it is, uh, yeah, written uh, when when it's really informative, when they know what uh, they will see, what they will get on this specific product page, and also the search engines are um, more likely to to index the site because the search engines uh, have. Uh, an easy life to index your page or to see what you're talking about on this on this page and of course the more easier we make it for the search engines the more the search engine engines like our website and uh, yeah the more likely is that we will uh, get a boost in the search result and um, yeah the higher we will rank so on so on, so on and so on so uh, yeah then let's move on to our next topic so and the next thing that we have on our list here is crafting uh, compelling product descriptions yeah very important the role of product description and seo and user engagement write detailed informative uh, product descriptions write a clear and descriptive product description that shows the benefits early in the text explain exactly how the product works what features this product has answer specific uh, potential questions that potential buyers might have so um, make sure that you um, write a really really good product description so the user or the visitor cannot uh, touch the product they don't know how the product works and make sure that you really describe the product describe the features of the product describe the benefits of the product and um, yeah make it really look nice so make bullet points make um, sure that you uh, make bullet points um, early in the product description and there you can write um, what are the benefits of the product, how the product will will help the potential customer, and um, yeah, and 
even better is when you uh, implement, for example, um, videos or GIFs are really good GIF images so um, that the customer can see the, the, the product from all different angles, different sides. Yeah, because um, when a customer goes into a store, then they can touch the product, they can read the package, what's written on the package. And this is not possible because, yeah, it's, it's an online store and they can now touch the product. This is why it's really important that you make a really descriptive um, product description that you explain exactly what the product um, offers for, uh, to the customer, the features, the benefits for the, for the customer and so on. Importance of unique content and avoid duplicate descriptions. It's very important that you write the description yourself as you know the product the best. So write in natural style language, avoid AI generated content, never copy the content product description from other sites. Google can identify whether you copy the text or whether you wrote the text yourself. Unique content is super, super important. Yeah. Um, make sure that you um, write the content yourself, that you write the product description yourself because you are the expert. You know your product better than anybody else. You know um, you have tested the product, uh, you know the features of the product and then um, yeah, write the description yourself or um, give the product to someone and they should write the text for you, the, the copy for you. And um, yeah, please avoid to copy content from other websites so for example, if you import uh, the specific product from, from China or something like this, and then uh, don't copy the text from, from their site because Google can see that uh, the, cop the text is copied from the site and that uh, the text is duplicated content and duplicated content is very bad for SEO. So make sure that you write the, the text yourself and um, yeah, please avoid AI generated content. I know um, these days AI generated content, it's uh, so easy to click a button and and um, say the AI engine that you want to have a really good um, uh, yeah, product description, but you are um, better in writing the content because the AI um, also, the AI doesn't know the, the, the product they go to other sites, grab their text, spin them around, and then um, yeah, they they print out uh, duplicated um, description. So it's it's really better when a human write the content than an than a robot. This is what I want to say. Then let's take a look at the next optimization method that you should um, implement. So um, the next method is um, utilize high quality images and videos. Uh, importance of high quality product images and videos for SEO and user experience. If you can take pictures yourself, uh, use your phone or camera. Google can see if these images are unique or not. Unique images will get a boost from Google. Make sure your name. Make sure you name the files with the correct keywords or description descriptive uh, or descriptive description okay so yeah when you have the product um, in 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 your storage in your office then um, make sure that you uh, make nice pictures of these images you can make the images with your with your um, mobile phone you can make the images with with a camera and um, it's best to make unique images, make a cool background or something like this. And um, it's better than when you make unique images, when you take the images yourself, then rather go to the um, supplier and grab their images. Because also, yeah, Google and Bing and all the other search engines can see that you copied the, the images and um, it is much better when you take your own images and Google and all the other search engines can see that this this image is unique, that this image is uh, not on is only on your website, on your store. And this will yeah give you a boost in SEO and helps you rank in the search engines. And also when you, for example, um, this uh, when you for example take a, a picture with your phone for example and then uh, upload it to your computer and when you want uh, yeah 
first of course you have to upload it or transfer it to your computer to your pc or to your mac and then um, make sure that you change the file name because when i for example take a picture with my iphone then upload it to or transfer it to my computer and then um, the the image file it has a really strange name has the date included and um yes strange stuff included and make sure that you um uh rename rename these file names make sure that when you want to sell this mac then and you take a picture of this mac then and upload the the image to your computer and then you will rename the file name to a nice looking red mac or whatever <laughs> um yeah, and then rename the file name. And after you renamed the file name, included the good good keywords, and then you can upload it to um, the product image gallery, for example. Tips for optimizing images. Yeah, I think this is this is clear. Um, make sure that you provide an um, alternative text. Yeah, the file names, like I said, and um, compression. Make sure that the images are not too big. If you upload um, the, the native image from an from an um, iPhone or whatever smartphone you are using, of course the file sizes are really big and then um, you can compress the image before you upload it to your to your store then um, yeah the image will load quicker so um, how product videos can enhance seo and conversion rate videos are a great way to show your product potential buyers can see exactly what the product is can see details in the video higher conversion rate um, and so on so yeah I think this is, um, this is a no-brainer. So video, when you take a video of this Mac and you sh you go with your camera around and show every detail of the Mac, of the Mac, of the Mac, then the, your potential customer can see exactly what they will get, um, can see little details on the, ma on the Mac. And um, yeah, videos or GIF images, of course, will yeah definitely boost your conversion rate. So if you are... Um, have the chance to take videos then please do it videos are, are a really good way to um yeah boost your conversion rate and that's it for the videos and images then let's go to our next step um the next step is optimizing the urls importance of clean descriptive descriptive and keyword rich urls create seo friendly urls example um of oh okay this is i want to go to my store i want to, want to show you the store yeah i think um yeah let's go um, back to my store yeah like i said or like i showed you before so make sure that the, the product url is clear and descriptive yeah, when you um, sell in this case when i want to sell this uh, 60 ml mold removal removal spray then i will of course name the url so everybody can see what i want to sell here what the product is all about and um, yeah google knows bing knows exactly what i want to sell here so yeah i think this is a no-brainer that you will uh, make a good product description um that the wrong thing yeah i think this is a no-brainer that you will optimize the urls let's go to the next so enhance user experience importance of fast loading and mobile friendly product pages tips for improving page load speed uh, image optimi image optimization lazy loading and ens ensuring mobile responsiveness and clear um, and ease of navigation uh, yeah importance of fast loading and mobile friendly product pages so of course when I go to your online store and um, it takes forever to load and um, yeah then um, I'm getting a little bit nervous and I don't have the time to wait uh, three four seconds until your page uh, is uh, fully loaded and then I will bounce back to Google and um, yeah choose your competitor so it's really important that you will test your store and make sure that everything is optimized for speed and also for mobile friendly when um, I go with my mobile phone on your store and um, everything looks uh, a little bit messed up then yeah I don't want to, I don't trust you I don't want to buy from you and then I will bounce back to Google and go to your competitor so 
um, it's really important that you test um, also your store for mobile friendliness and also for fast loading. So um, you can use different tools. Um, there is uh, for the, the speed optimization, there is GT metrics. I think you know about of GT metrics. So in GT, gtmetrics.com, you can input the page URL and then GT metrics shows you exactly um, how long the page um, takes for, for, for the full load process and what exactly um, how big the images are and what um, uh, takes the most time uh, to load and yeah GT metrics show you shows you exactly if your if your page speed is okay or not and then you can you can work on these and also mobile friendliness yeah test it out with your mobile phone or um, also with a mobile phone of your of your friend so that you have a fresh mobile phone um, where you can where you can test the site test it on different mobile devices or even test it on um, your your tablet that you have laying around so that um, your website is um, mobile friendly and optimized for mobile devices and also for tablets then um, tips for improving uh, page load speed yeah like i said before uh, image optimization lazy loading yeah um, i think the most important thing is the image optimization because uh, yeah images are taking the, the most space of your of your site because yeah you only have the images and then then the text and um, the images if the images are too big then it takes forever if the images are for example three uh, megabyte in size then yeah it takes forever to load um, many stores uh, offers lazy loading so um, yeah woocommerce definitely um, has lazy loading uh, shopify has lazy loading uh, big commerce i know um, has lazy loading uh, make sure that you activate lazy loading and this will help yeah and ensure mobile friendliness and ease of navigation so make sure that the navigation on your mobile phone is uh, is really easy that you can navigate with your mobile phone mobile uh, phone from time to time some um, i have some websites from customers and um, when i visit the website from the customers or the store then uh, the navigation for example is gone because they built their website on um on a PC or on a Mac with a big screen and they optimize everything uh, for the big screen and when you visit their website with a mobile phone then we uh, often have that there's something wrong or that even the navigation for example is missing and they come to us and uh, oh Tim uh, my conversion rate is so low uh, please can you help me and then I will check the website I will do the technical analysis analysis of the website and then yeah we will um, fix this and then um, we uh, enhance the conversion rate by only doing this yeah <laughs> and um, yeah really great <laughs> so let's go to the next um, the next is leverage customer reviews the impact of customer reviews and SEO on SEO and trust if you have the opportunity to collect reviews do so reviews build trust with your potential customers for woocommerce for example there are specific special plugins that automatically collect reviews or collect questions that customers have and then display them on the product page user generated content um yeah if you if you have um reviews for your for your product then please please um, display them in a prominent space so um, your potential customers can see that other people have bought your product and other people are happy with your product and make sure that you display uh, these informations these reviews for example here i have a store um, or i have an image of a store here you can see this is really great um, they display the the reviews and then you can click on the reviews and then they can then you can read all the reviews and i think this is um the way to go so um yeah make sure that everything is displayed and also here you can see the bullet points what they did is this is really great so and this is um, a really optimized layout and design and um, yeah let's go back here encourage customers to leave reviews give custom give customers who leave 
a positive re review on your product, a coupon code for the next order. Yeah, if you have their email, then um, yeah, um, send them an offer. If they leave a five star review, for example, then you will give them a 10% uh, coupon code or give them, yeah, but I don't know. 10% off of the next on the next order. Um, yeah, if you if you can do this, do this. This is a really great way to collect reviews. Yeah, display reviews prominently on product pages. Yeah, like here, this is this is um, a really great solution to display this here. Um, yeah, perfect. Then let's move on. Internal linking and related products. Benefits of internal linking for SEO and user engagement. Tips for linking to related products and other relevant pages. Example of effective and internal linking strategies. So yeah, internal linking is really great when, when you um, have a product page and then at the end you can display the, um, the products that are in the same category or display the product on um uh no up, 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 um, i cannot find it but you you know what i mean if you interlink this for example in the description when you interlink this and um, then when when the customer uh, can see what else is in the category then you can you can link to this and this is a really good way to um, boost your um, conversion rate or boost the um boost the card volume you know what i mean so yeah internal linking um really important then yeah okay this is the whoops so this is our last step so monitoring and analyzing performance important importance of tracking seo performance and making adjustments tools for monitoring SEO metrics, Google Analytics, Google Search Console, and so on. Tips for analy analyzing data and improve product page SEO over time. Yeah, for sure. If you have an online store, then you definitely should um, track your SEO. You can um, track the user behavior. You can implement um, a heat map, for example. Um, then you can see exactly where um, the, the customers are clicking on, if they can find all the important buttons. And also, yeah, I think uh, Google Analytics and Google Search Console, um, yeah, is standard, is a no-brainer that you have uh, implemented this in, in your store. And these tools are free and they are really good to see exactly um, your best landing pages, for example, for example, where are the customers are bouncing and when you see um, that the customers are bouncing from a specific page then of course there is something wrong or you can optimize something and you can work with this tool and Google Analytics and Google Search Console are excellent tools for improving online stores you can get so much high quality data from this this is not even funny anymore uh, because you can you can see everything all the um, all the metrics from user behavior and the time on page and uh, the conversion rate, you can track the conversion rate. And uh, yeah, there are also other tools where, like I said, you can track the heat map, then you can implement the heat map, a heat map on your website or on your e-commerce store. And then you can see exactly uh, the user behavior, where is their mouse? Um, can they see the, the, the mouse scroll thingy? Um, can they find all the right buttons on your website and so on and so on? These are free. For example, if you um, are if you're having a Microsoft Bing account, then you can implement this for free. Uh, I forgot the name of the tool, but uh, Microsoft Bing. If you have a Microsoft Bing account and you connected your website with Bing, then you can implement this for free. I totally forgot the name of the tool, but you will find it if you if you Google um, this tool or um, yeah if you search for this tool totally forget forgot the name so um yeah <clears throat> tips for analy tips for analyzing data and proof product page seo over time 
yeah, you have to um, analyze the data and from the data on, like I said before, you can see exactly the user behavior, what um, your customers are doing on your page, uh, the keywords, what uh, keywords are most important or on what keywords they are uh, or what keywords they are searching for and um, where your page um, showing up in, in the Google search result. And these tools are free and um, um, this is a completely complete dream because you can this is so perfect you can optimize the conversion rate you can optimize user behavior you can have so good data from from these tools and with this data you can optimize the conversion rate and so on and so on you know what i mean so yeah i think that's all for this uh, small little short video here and i think i gave you a few tips and tricks which you can implement in your own website in your own e-commerce store and if you implement these tips and these steps i think then you can boost your conversion rate you can boost your seo you will rank higher your pages will rank higher in the google organic search and you don't have to spend so much money on ads for example uh, this is a really great way so try to please try to implement this if you have any questions put it in the comments down below and here is the last um, yeah, uh, thank you for watching. <laughs> if you have any questions about this topic, you can write your questions in the video comments or you also have the option to arrange a one-on-one -on -one discover discovery call with me where we can look at your website or online store, analyze it. I'm also happy to help you optimize your online shop or website. Yeah, <clears throat> you can find all links in the video description. Yeah, so... Um, a little bit about me um, yeah I think I told you a little bit about me and the company so we are an SEO and web design company and also e-commerce we are doing this for customers all over the world we are optimizing online stores we are optimizing conversion rate and we can optimize the technical SEO and on-page SEO and so on and so on <laughs> and um, yeah a little bit a little shameless plug here so um, if you uh, if you're searching for someone that um, can help you with the conversion rate and um, if you are looking for an experienced um, company that can help you then um, yeah we are happy to help you because yeah we are searching for for customers um, we are a normal normal agency here in Germany if you want to work with a German agency or if you want to work with me then um, please go in the video description and there you can find a link um, where you can book a free 50 minute one-on-one -on -one call so we can discuss your needs and we can see if we both fit together and um, if you want to like if you want to like to work with us or if we um, are able to help you so um, yeah if you are looking for a company um, then please uh, yeah book your one-on-one -on -one call with me it's completely free and we can discuss everything of course yeah we are a german um, company i'm Ge i'm from germany and um, yeah we are not the cheapest but uh, i think we do pretty good work for our customers we know what we're doing and um, yeah so then uh, i think that's it for the video um, if you found the video informative if you like uh, uh, my content if if you found something that you can implement in your website then um, i would appreciate if you press the thumbs up button uh, for the video and also yeah if you have any questions put it in the comments down below try to answer all your questions as soon as i can and um, also please subscribe to the youtube to my youtube channel and thank you very much for your time thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye